The split call, Brendan Horan, five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And uh, may I say uh, Happy New Year, and it's great to be back, and uh, a hearty welcome to uh, all MPs that are here tonight. I hope everybody had a wonderful break and look forward to an exciting year. Uh, sir, I take a short call on the Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill. At the outset, I say I am supporting the first reading, and I look forward to a speedy but not rushed process through the Select Committee as it receives and considers uh, what will no doubt be many hundreds of submissions. Uh, sir, earlier we heard the Honourable Julianne Genta speak of her party being the only long-term planners. Uh, over on this side of the House, we realise that National look generally only to the next press statement. <clears throat> but in their headlong rush yesterday to be seen to congratulate Lord, we see a momentous shift in their psyche. And uh, with Lord only 16 and not eligible to vote for a couple of years, perhaps that's an indication that National, by their standards, are finally thinking long term. <clears throat> Sir, we are told that the main purpose of this bill is to enable the accounting and audit industry to be more efficient and more effective and will enable more people who are competent to perform audits to do so. And that sounds good, replacing outdated and prescriptive legislation with a more appropriate and enabling framework is generally good. And Lord knows there's, a, there's certainly a party here that could do with replacing their outdated leader. But, sir, it's interesting that the rollout of our broadband infrastructure means that every accounting system is still an analogue. And I look forward to the move to digital and the many jobs that will be created by the industrial internet with new skills and competencies required to change systems over to digital infrastructure. However, I digress. Um, there is one point that I would like the Select Committee to seek advice from officials about, and it is this. Whilst this bill builds on the changes made by what is now the Financial Markets Conduct Act 2013 and the Financial Reporting Act 2013, the three pieces of legislation together are quite complex. Yeah. Now, at present, Section 199 of the Companies Act sets out who may and who may not audit a company. There is also a flow-on effect as other pieces of legislation reference Section 199 to define the qualifications of auditors of other entities. Yet it is not clear how or where in the Act, in the two Acts already passed, and this new bill, how Section 199 of the Companies Act will be updated to allow more competent people to perform audits of companies and other entities. And this draws attention, sir, to the Electoral Act, perhaps, and who can audit parties' returns of donations and expenses. So I, I would hope, sir, that the Select Committee can delve into this point and can shed some sunlight on this in their report. And I look forward to that report. Sir, I support this reading. There being no further speakers, uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. A party vote's called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes in favour. Green Party. 14, vo 14 votes against. New Zealand First. 7 votes in favour. Māori Party. 3 in favour. Mana. 1 vote against. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan. 1 vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 106, the noes are 15, the motion is agreed to. Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill, first reading. The question is that the Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill be considered by the Commerce Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Okay. The Honourable Craig Foss. 
I move, that the, I move that the Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill be reported to the House by 30 May 2014. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Call on Government Order of the Day number three. Arts Council of New Zealand.